Hey guys, it's Quentin from Fanjoy.com. He's sitting here with the phone uh, that exists on AT&T's mid-range smartphone lineup, and it's the Pantic Flex. Um, so this device is kind of interesting. It's a device that's aimed at people who are coming from feature phones, and they might not, you know, get the smartphone. I guess I don't know. They just might not get the smartphone. Period. Yet they might not know um, how to use a, a smartphone or uh, the full extent of the device's capabilities. Uh, and things like that. So this is for those people. As this name suggests, it's flexible. So I guess that's where they might have gotten a name from. Because you can also uh, go from what they call an easy mode to a standard mode, and then back to an easy mode if you wanted to. And I'll show you guys all that when we take a look at the uh, the software. But for now, we're gonna take a look at the hardware. Um, and here it is. It's a very slim and sleek looking device. It actually looks pretty nice, and it feels pretty nice in the hand. Um, it feels like a really premium smartphone that you would find from the likes of Motorola or Samsung these days so just because it's a mid-range or an entry-level smartphone type of smartphone uh... doesn't mean that it's gonna look bad like this one looks really nice it's built really nicely uh, i think there's some kind of um, i guess elemental protection for like dust and stuff like that i'm not sh uh, too sure right now but um, it is built really nicely and it's something that i wouldn't mind having in my pocket you can see this is kind of two-tone color um, color scheme on the back here has this kind of uh, gunmetal black finish and uh, that's like part of the battery door we can just pop that off if we wanted to but um yeah just a really nice design overall and very thin at that um let's jump into specs though inside is a 1.5 gigahertz dual core s4 plus processor uh, you also get one gig of ram the eight megapixel camera on the back you also get a two megapixel shooter on the front the eight megapixel camera can shoot 1080p video by the way and you also get i think an 1850 milliamp hour battery inside um 4g lte uh, 4.3 inch display which is QHD resolution it's not HD but uh, you really don't need HD at this resolution in my opinion and I mean at the screen size in my opinion so um, no problems there it is super AMOLED so you do get a nice uh, I guess nice quality nice great colors and uh, saturation and all that good stuff and that's pretty much it for the specs. I mean, it's not it's not anything that's gonna blow you away. It's no quad core beast. It doesn't have two gigs of RAM and all this other stuff. But uh, it does have a very very nice internals for pretty much anyone who would want one of these. Like if you're a new smartphone user, you're gonna have plenty of power to do what you want, play your games, and all that good stuff. And if you're even an experienced smartphone owner and you want something that can uh, keep up with you, then the the S4 processor is still a great processor, 1.5 gigahertz dual core. So um, very nice internals for this range. And uh, let's just go ahead and turn it on. I want to show you guys what I'm talking about with the software. So uh, you can see right here we have a light switch on the, on the uh, lock screen, so you can flip it up to unlock it. There's also an emergency dialer, uh, an emergency dialer here. If you press that emergency call button, I'm not going to make any calls right now, of course, but um, you can access that quite easily. And then we jump to the home screen. So as you can see here, I'm in um, I am in easy mode, or they call it the easy. Let me see what they actually call it. Change experience. The Pantech Easy Experience. So that's what I'm in right now. We're going to just focus on that for a little bit because that's kind of what draws us to this phone in the first place. Um, so this is not going to be your typical Android experience. Uh, easy mode is just going to be, it's going to be a cut and dry type of you know here's here's everything you need and here's how to get to a type of experience you have like one menu you can jump into to access pretty much everything settings tools your games and apps uh... the web browser camera media your messaging and your contacts and um... just go into games and apps this is where you would access everything that you download from the google play store you can see there's a nice big link to the play store right there at the top uh... but this is pretty much just your general uh, your typical app list you can go back and then you can jump right into the camera from here if you wanted um, and it's just that easy and the interesting thing about uh, all these apps is that there are two designs for certain apps so you might get an easy uh, not not just the interface you get from the home screen but you also get two designs um, one for easy mode and one for standard mode I'll show you guys that in a little bit but let's just go back to the home screen here and show you guys what's going on we don't have multiple home screens uh, we just have this one home screen you can't move uh, anything around um, but you do get information on that home screen so you get the time in nice big big letters <laughs> or numbers uh, you also get the date 
uh, weather if you want to set that up I set mine up for my area and then you get the quick links to contacts uh, shortcuts web camera all down here um, and all that good stuff so it's more like a feature phone in that uh, you kind of have this one hub to access everything that you need um, so you know you're not going to get this huge daunting experience as far as customization goes you can uh, you can change the background if you want <laughs> uh, but you're not going to be able to change much on this screen and then you go ahead and pull down the notification menu you still do get notifications so they just pop up right there but at the top here uh, you can see we have nice big buttons for uh, quick settings Wi-Fi Bluetooth alarm and vibrate it'll show you your battery life at a glance time and date again and then the uh, service indicator I don't have uh, the sim card in right now I'm, I'm on Wi-Fi so just keep that in mind as we go through this video um, but that's pretty much what it is. It just makes everything easier to use. It's bigger. It's just more in your face and to the point. Here it is. Here's how you get to it. I'm just going to show you guys what messages look like. If we go into messages, this is the interface. This is not the interface you're used to. Um, this is actually a really, <laughs> really basic and big interface. This is something that you would find on uh, like a Samsung slider touchscreen feature phone or something of that sort so you can go ahead and compose something and you just get this big interface that you can't really miss anything and that's the point they want you to be able to find everything with ease and give you everything that you need right at the front of your face um, and then the same with things like the calendar if we can go ahead and find that we can just jump into it from the home screen the calendar has these nice big buttons and very easy uh, kind of layout for jumping between months and adding events and things like that so with that said I'm going to show you guys how it all looks in standard mode so we're going to go ahead and go in settings personalize and you can see the settings menu, menu is also kind of compact and uh, more easy and friendly to use as well change experience and then go down to the Pantech standard experience it's going to ask you it's going to say it's going to close all your apps but pretty much when you go between standard and uh, the easy mode uh, none of your customizations from the standard mode are lost. They're just kind of saved. So if you ever decide to go back, don't worry about uh, having to you know switch things around. So here we are. You can know, you can see that this is a more familiar Android experience now. We have kind of we have the five different home screens we can uh, customize with widgets and shortcuts. You can kind of scroll, uh, do a pinch to zoom, and add more, delete more panels if you want to. Um, you get the fully featured notification bar that will let you jump into settings from here. Uh, it also gives you more controls and you can slide through them up at the top here. Um, so you can just see right away the dock here is customizable and you can slide back and forth. You get more options there. It's just a more um, it's just more advanced experience. The experience that we're used to is Android diehards. But for somebody who is not used to smartphones or Android in general, then this is definitely something that they're going to want to to buy to ease them into the smartphone game and then they can you know they don't have to get a new phone when they feel like they've outgrown this one they can always just switch to normal mode and that's that so um, and then I'm just going to show you guys the differences now in the apps so you can see the messages apps the messages app now looks uh, you know like you would expect it has more going on it's not as big you get more screen real estate to type um, and I'm not saying it's harder to use in this mode. It's just not as, you know, it's not as, it doesn't hold your hand as much is pretty much what I'm trying to say. Contacts, uh, kind of contacts is kind of um, different compared to easy mode. And then as well as calendar, we'll show you guys that one. Um, there it is. And you can see we kind of have a standard uh, calendar user interface that we didn't have with the easy mode. So even the apps change. It's not just the interface of the home screen and uh, the notification bar. Or And let me show you guys the lock screen. I also forgot about that one. And you can also get these uh, customized these apps here. So you can open up straight to an app by dragging one and sliding it into that little circle. So even the apps themselves change depending on what mode you're in. So uh, this is a very good smartphone for those who are new to the game. They want something to ease them into it, and they don't want to have to buy a new smartphone when they feel they've outgrown this one. So uh, the Pantech Flex, very solid phone. You can read more about my thoughts on it in the full review at Fanjoy.com. This is just a quick look, a quick rundown of the device. Quitting for Fanjoy.com. Go ahead and check that out. We will have a link in the description for you to read. Um, and be sure to check this phone out. 
Time to cheat for what you get here. Very nice and solid package. Quentin from Fanjoy.com. Thanks.